Hello there, welcome to the setup tutorial for our Mini Orange WordPress LDAP plugin. Go to the Mini Orange WordPress LDAP plugin. You can select the directory server by clicking here. It can connect with your server using either the LDAP or LDAP S protocols. Enter the server host name or IP address. And specify the LDAP admin username and password. Click on the test connection and save settings to verify the LDAP connection. The connection was established successfully and your configuration has been saved. Now let's configure the LDAP user mapping configuration section. Click Select Search Base to view the available search bases in your Active Directory and select the search base or organizational unit. The search base you select will allow the plugin to search for users under it. Select your preferred username attribute from the drop down and click on Save User Mapping. The LDAP mapping configuration was saved successfully. Proceed with test authentication. Enter the username and password of a user present in the search base and click on the Test Authentication button. You have successfully configured your LDAP settings. Then click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. Now let's proceed to the Role Mapping tab to assign a specific role to all the LDAP users who log in. Select a default WordPress role for these users and enable Role Mapping. If you do not wish to override the existing roles of the users present on the WordPress website, click on the Keep Existing Roles of Users button. You can also test role mapping by scrolling down to the Test Role Mapping Configuration section. Enter the username of any user present in the Active Directory and test the configuration. A window will pop up to indicate whether the configuration was successful or failed. Let's move on to the attribute mapping. The email attribute is the default configuration present in our plugin. Enter the email domain you would like to assign to the users whose email attribute is not already set in the Active Directory and save the configuration. You can also test attribute mapping by scrolling down to the Test Attribute Configuration section. Enter the username and click on Test Configuration. A window will pop up to indicate whether the configuration was successful or failed. Click on the Next button to proceed to the Login Settings tab. Enable login using the LDAP button to allow users to log in to the WordPress website using their LDAP credentials. This toggle allows WordPress admins to log in using either their LDAP and WordPress credentials. Enabling auto-registering will allow you to automatically register user into the WordPress website when they log in. We have now successfully set up our WordPress LDAP plugin. Now let's log in the user into the WordPress site using the credentials stored in the Active Directory. Enter the username and password and click on the login button. We have successfully logged in. That's not it. You can get the authentication report which will inform you about the failed login attempts that have been made while users try to log in to your WordPress website. You can export these reports in CSV format and can clear the logs as well. Are syncing profiles and passwords becoming a hassle for you? Try our advanced sync ad to streamline the process effortlessly. We hope the video was helpful for you, and thank you for watching.